scenario. We possibly could have put it out without even hooking to a fire hydrant, which we do quite often. Our fire department is constantly training on fires, rescues, medicals, hazmats, and other incidents. We have a total of a little over 2,600 hours of training in so far for the year. I feel we're just as trained, if not better, than any department south of Cape Drago, and I put myself and my personnel up against any of them. With that said, we all work together very well, and have to call on each other from time to time when we need assistance. It's not a bad thing to see another department in our city. It means that you have competent people working to protect you, and they see the need for assistance rather than getting someone hurt or killed. We respond to assist other agencies in their time of need, and then they return the favor. I want citizens of this town to feel confident that we have the best trained fire department around. I cannot say when I attempt, but if you would like to satisfy your query, I would urge you to see how much time is spent in training in other departments in our area. One last thing is the fire station. This project was funded by a grant. The total for the project is $3,773,700, and the city's part being $1,000,000. This station was a must due to the building that was torn down was about to fall down and was not even safe to live in. If you remember, we had to live in a trailer house due to the old fire station being condemned. The new station has nothing to do with the water source in our cities or the capabilities of our fire department. We should all be excited to see a new state-of-the-art fire station in our city to replace the outdated the dilapidated structure that once stood there. If you didn't know, this new station will also hold, uh, house survival flight crew for their helicopter. It is an honor to be the chief of this fine department. I've worked here for almost 23 years, and I have, hope to have many, many more years on this department. It's not only a job, but quite honestly, a family to most, and I have the utmost confidence in my personnel. I hope I've assisted all of you by giving you factual information instead of just word of mouth. My office is always open for anyone with any questions or concerns. Thank you for your attention. <coughs> if there are no questions from the council, that's all I have. The class in December, is that an EMT class or? <coughs> no, it's a medical first responder. Okay. And that's the one we were supposed to have and it never was scheduled. Okay. That's all. Thank you. Thank you. Right, human resources. Uh, we have nothing to report today. <coughs> Your name? Okay. 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 Tina said they have 37 dogs on intake. That they have stayed busy with dogs and with wildlife <coughs> to release outside the city limits. They have several fundraisers going on. South School held a fundraiser that consists of a dollar donation to wear your Halloween costume to school. They raised a little over $520 for vet care. And the middle school is hosting the fundraiser tonight with Kenneth and Cena um, basketball. And uh, the donations go to the same thing. <coughs> And they had three other fundraisers coming up. And she said to make sure to watch the newspaper or listen to the radio <coughs> or look at a Facebook page. That's it. Thank you. <coughs> All right. Please. Mayor, Council. Um, first off, I'd like to start off by thanking uh, Melissa Holmes for her help in helping us get a, a grant or a donation from Walmart. There's a lot of paperwork that had to be submitted and it wasn't the local Walmart that required this paperwork. It was from corporate for us to get a donation for like Shop of the Cop, Shop of Hero, whatever we did. Walmart's been very, very good to us over the years, but they had to have this paperwork filled out. Melissa was able to get on their portal, get everything done before the deadline, which was today. Uh, yesterday they secured a, a donation for thirty-two hundred dollars for our shop at Hero. Okay. But right now we're closing in on close to seventeen thousand dollars we've raised this year for that project. Um, 
will probably hold the chocolate hero at Walmart on December the 14th, I think, is the date we got set right now. <clears throat> Next, uh, this past week our officers attended uh, the in-house training of taser recertification. We have to do that uh, on an annual basis that was held here. One of our officers is a certified taser instructor, which saves us a lot of money and bring somebody in to teach that class. So we got that done. Also, I just want to touch for a minute. I know the last council meeting, it was brought up the possibility of a, of a public safety tax. I think a lot of you guys that are on the finance committee understand uh, how much a need we need for that. That would help both the police and the fire department. Our costs do not get cheaper every year. Everything we do, from equipment to training, um, our needs increase, and so the cost of all that stuff goes up. City obviously is a self tax base city, and so when collection is down, kind of like it is right now, it kind of hurts us, hurts us in the long run. Uh, being able to dedicate however much we can dedicate for public safety, which would benefit both police and fire department, would be a huge help. And you know, I'd like to see if the council could uh, proceed with that and try to get that on the ballot as soon as possible. You guys don't have any questions at all. I have to, all I do need is close session. Yeah. 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 Thank you, Thank you. Chief. <coughs> Mayor, Council, uh, I'm going to start chatting with Chief Davis before I make my report. I'm going to have to regulate some of this off of here. The bush thing, I just want to say my guys, guys and gals, did the uh, employees did a good job on them. I think they looked real good. They were getting kind of bad. Yeah, they looked real good. Yeah, it took them a couple of days to get them because of the weather, but uh, they did a good job on them. Uh, we did finally get truck five back from the shop, and we're using it again so far. We're good with it. Haven't found any issues. We are uh, doing some work, some concrete work on Walnut Street, right off of Harrison. They got it broke out and set up today. We can't get concrete until Friday, so we'll pour it back Friday. We'll be winding down concrete for too long. It's going to be getting a little bit too cold. We've got a couple more spots to do. Uh, our wheel loader that we have, we've, it's 37 years old. The engine's been rebuilt on it twice. The cylinders have all been rebuilt several times. Mr. Carter knows he paid for some of that a couple times. Uh, there are many small issues that we're having with this loader. It was, uh, I think, a 1985 is what year it is. We have really no funds to pay for a new one. We need to start looking at something to do about replacing that because that is a very important piece of equipment down there. It's used every day for something. Uh, not so much on the street or stormwater side of things to use those taxes it's more street department oriented so it's probably not something we can use one of those taxes to replace so we really need to look at some way of trying to get something done with that and more bad news i hate to bring up but three of our four big trucks are 27 plus years old two of them are kodiaks they don't make them anymore. The last few parts that we got, Gerald found in a salvage yard. So they weren't new to begin with, and we're already having issues with some of those. Uh, you will not find a body panel for these anywhere. I think when Mr. Carter was here, we had a councilman find one in the junkyard and called and asked if we needed it, and we said, yes, we do get it. Because it's been wrecked, and we've been driving around with no fender for a while. This is uh, something else that we could possibly maybe use some of the transportation cell tax for, but I'm going to say not 100% carry, maybe. Partial. Yeah, partial. Yeah. So we're going to be looking, need to look at some uh, supplemental money to replace those two. We've got one, the, the one that was just wrecked that we got back is 2016, so it's, it's not new either. But the other three are, are getting pretty, pretty old. Pretty warm. 
That being said, the Mo Crew, more good news. The Mo Crew vehicle is 30 plus years old probably, and it was an ambulance that was donated by, I'm assuming, ambulance service when they got tired of it or couldn't use it anymore. We are having a lot of trouble with parts for this. This is a specialty vehicle. It was built for the ambulance service, and uh, we like to never found an alternator for it. We had a couple of brackets we almost didn't find. The last person to work on it, well, actually, he had to make a part, and he had to make a part for one of these three trucks I was talking about, too. He had to do some welding on it to because uh, he couldn't, couldn't find the parts. He had to work on the old one, in fact, do some fabricating. These are all vehicles of MoCrew. I don't know. I know we can't use transportation sales tax for that, I'm assuming. So that's something else. We're going to have to look at some kind of a way to replace. We've got three very old vehicles. City Light Water donated one that was they were getting ready to get rid of that is also old. It's in the 80s. So between the two of them, we, when one breaks, we use the other one, hold our breath, hope we get the other one fixed before the other one goes down. But uh, we are going to need to start looking at some funds to try to replace those in the near future, probably. That's all we got for the street department. All that good news I know y'all wanted to hear. Yeah. Okay. Um, I've got one question uh, from Mr. McVeigh. We are having issues with uh, the Bo Ryan subdivision getting those fences off the out of the uh, area that they should not be in. And uh, one of the people out there wants to put gates in. And I don't think that's what we're after. We're after. Uh, I'm sorry. That's usually not adequate. Yeah. So uh, we might might be thinking about what we can do to speed the process up a little bit. Maybe 